Morning, everybody. Slightly different video here. As you can see, I'm not in my usual spot. But after Bruno Fernandes played for Sporting Lisbon last night and everything that happened, I wanted to give you guys an update on what has happened. And the answer is not what we wanted. So yesterday, Sky Sports News broke the story that United were close to agreeing a deal for Bruno Fernandes. And I got excited. You all got excited. But Bruno Fernandes started for Sporting Lisbon last night. After the game, we were hoping for a tears from Bruno, an emotional farewell, a big goodbye to their best player. Instead, Sporting Lisbon lost 2-0 to Benfica and Bruno Fernandes just sort of walked quietly off the pitch. Nothing really much happened. Sporting Lisbon's assistant manager was asked whether or not Bruno would be in contention to play Braga on Wednesday and he said we're going to play our strongest team. And then Silas was questioned and he is Sporting Lisbon's manager and that's where the real update came. He said that effectively Bruno wants to play in the Premier League, which is as close as we're going to get to a transfer request from Bruno Fernandes. says that we have to appreciate the player's ambition. But he said that, as far as I know, we're going to use Bruno Fernandes on Wednesday. So as far as Sporting's manager is concerned, as far as Bruno is concerned, nothing at this point is concrete. Nothing at this point is done. And that's going to frustrate a lot of United fans. There is one thing I'd like to say at this point. I think with United, there's such an intense scrutiny on every single step that we're privy to more information than most clubs are with their transfers. And that's why it's painful because we see every single step, every single to and fro between the clubs before a deal is agreed. And I still think a deal will be agreed. And it's... It's all around how much cash United want to pay up front for Bruno and how much United want to pay in bonuses that get activated when certain things happen. Sporting Lisbon want more up front than United are currently offering and that is where the delay is coming from. That is where the delay still is coming from. I watched the game last night, Benfica against Sporting, and you saw exactly what Bruno can add to this United team. He may have been playing in the number 10 role, but he was everywhere. All down the left, all down the right, deeper, further up the pitch, making great runs from midfield through to the edge of the box. Had a wonderful 60-yard curling through ball over the top where Sporting hit the post from. He's a very tenacious player. He got fouled, must have been like five, six, seven times because he's always got the ball at his feet. He's always looking to receive the pass. Some incisive, quick, one-touch football from him when needed. Some great runs from him when needed. You can see he's got a great footballing intelligence. And he's far, far, far better than that Sporting Lisbon team. They were clumsy in comparison to Bruno Fernandes. And he clearly has got the ambition to play in the Premier League. So Bruno wants the move. United want Bruno. Sporting are willing to sell Bruno for the right price. But yet it's still down to the same thing that it was down to 72 hours ago. And at this point... There is no agreement. Sky Sports News leading the story on Saturday got me excited, not going to lie. But when you think about it a little bit more, they haven't exactly been leading with information on the Bruno transfer. So how would they know that first on Saturday out of nowhere, sorry, Friday, when nobody else did? I'm not sure. Uh, it's dragging on a bit now. But I suppose major transfers do. Sporting don't want to lose their best player unless they get the best possible price. And when you see Duncan Castles yesterday saying that United are prepared to guarantee £25 million for 16-year-old Jude Bellingham from Birmingham, I think. <laughs> if I was sporting as director, I would be saying, right, if they can pay £25 mil for a 16-year-old, then I'm going to hold out for a lot more for Bruno. I think it's just sporting playing hardball, trying to get the most out of selling their player. But that's what Portuguese clubs do very, very well. They get excellent prices for their players. If you look at the players who have le left the Portuguese league, some very, very expensive exports. But Bruno Fernandes didn't have an emotional farewell against Sporting. Didn't even have the farewell he wanted if it was his last game because he lost 2-0. But Silas has said that Bruno wants to play in the Premier League. That is a certainty. 
Bruno wants to move to United. It's down to United to get that deal done. It's down to Matt Judge to negotiate that deal properly. And I said it at the time of the wan Saka deal. That it was very frustrating watching United dither and try and get the best deal possible. But at the end of it, United got a sensational deal for wan Saka, which I think excluded that Zaha sell-on. So fair play to United. They negotiated that very well. But this is January. It's a little bit different. There's a lot more pressure and a much smaller time frame to get things done. Now, we all want to see Bruno Fernandes in the stands to play Liverpool on Sunday. Actually, don't no, too fair. I don't because I think we're probably going to get pumped. But I don't think he's going to be there. A deal at this stage is still not done. Sky Sports reporting that the transfer has been agreed but judging by that game yesterday, Bruno playing the full 90 minutes, no real emotional goodbye. I think you've got a player there who wants to move to United, but you've got a club there who can't agree with United over that fee yet. It's frustrating. I know it is, but let's see what happens in the next two to three days, I suppose. It's going to keep changing. It's going to keep going to and fro, but United need to find what that fee is get the deal done and get Bruno in. Because judging by that performance last night, he can add so much to that midfield. And we already knew that anyway. But just seeing him in action, just made me realise how much of a difference he can make to this quite static United team. Now, subscribe down below if you're new to Night People's TV. As I said, slightly different video, but I wanted to give you an update on Bruno after what's happened last night. But no Bruno, not in a United shirt just yet.